All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Rust in My Garage episode. This is the last episode of the Rambler that I have stock footage of. So we actually built this car in 2019, but things got in the way and I wasn't able to focus all my time onto YouTube content. So I put it off until now. Now I'm able to focus more of my time onto YouTube content and put out videos every week. So I just wanted you guys to know that we actually built this entire car in a little bit under two months. On January 15th, we started designing the car. It was our first day that we started doing the fair alarm, pulled the motor out of the Rambler, and got the thing into our CAD file and started mapping out how we were gonna do this build. We ended up finishing the design process on March 23rd, 2019, and got the entire car mapped out. Then we just had to get all of our ducks in a row, get all the parts that we needed to be able to knock this build out. We started our first fabrication project on the Rambler on May 1st and we finished the Rambler on June 23rd. It took us a little bit under two months to do this entire build from when we first made the frame and cut the car apart until when we drove it out of the shop. A little bit under two months, so we were going crazy on this build. We did the entire design process and everything else that we did prior to that and also a little bit under two months. So now all the videos will be up to date and you guys can see what we changed from when we first built the car to what it is now. You guys aren't going to want to miss the next episode where we do our full reveal video. But now we're going to get back into finishing this thing up so we can get ready to go back on the road. Alright guys, so let's finish this Rambler build up. If you guys like content like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue to do more builds like this. And you can see more of the Rambler in the future. But if you guys missed the last few episodes, I'll link a playlist up here. But we actually used a C4 Corvette for our front suspension and we're going to put this all underneath of our 1961 Rambler station wagon. We ended up designing this entire frame in a CAD system called IronCAD. And then once we got the entire car designed, we ended up making the entire frame. Once we cut off the front of the C4 Corvette, we welded it together to our perimeter frame. We ended up cutting the floor out of a Lincoln Aviator and then welding this all together to make our frame for our C4 Corvette. And then we cut out the entire body of our 61 Rambler station wagon to fit on top of our custom frame that we made. So once we put the body onto the frame, we welded it all together. And in the last episode, you saw us drive it for the first time under its full power. So now if you watch the last episode, we just ratchet strapped the radiator to it so it would cool just for our test drive. But now we're going to mount an actual radiator mount to it. So we ended up reusing some of the mounts for the Camaro that we had got the motor from. And so we used the Camaro radiator initially just to get us going for the time being. And it actually worked pretty good. So now we're just welding up the mounts for the radiator and then tying up a bunch of stuff. So now finally it's time to fit the front clip of the Rambler back onto it. So in a few episodes ago you saw us cut the front of the Rambler off and that's because we wanted to keep the whole structure for our fenders to mount to and then the hood hinges and everything to mount to one piece. We actually wanted this whole front clip to be able to tilt forward so we could access the motor a little bit easier um, but it ended up just being very very heavy so right now we're just mounting it to the front frame rails that way we can get the front clip stationary and then we can mount our fenders and everything else to it but you got to keep in mind that we changed the entire firewall so mounting it back to the rambler body is not as easy as you may think so we had to design a way to be able to attach it uh, to our firewall that we made So now when we attach our fenders, we're able to attach it to the structure that we had cut off. That way everything lines up just like it did before we pulled the front clip off. Um, the fenders slide underneath the doors and we had to change that whole section because if you saw on the same episode that that entire 
fender well was all rotted out, so we had to redo all that. So now it's funny that we made the entire car and designed the entire thing, um, but we did not account for where we are going to put a battery. We thought we were going to put it in the back sill, um, but we didn't want to be invasive with the back seat back there. So we kind of were looking for places to put the battery, and the only place that really fit was right in the front. Um, so it actually worked out pretty good. It has plenty of room up there, and uh, you just pop the hood, get the battery out. It is a little bit in front of the radiator, but it doesn't seem to really be affecting it much. Um, so we mounted the battery, then we started wiring everything up officially, so that way we can get this thing back on the road, and the wiring is way better than what it was when we did our test drive. So just like everything else, once we put something in, like the battery, we have to test fit everything around it to make sure it's going to fit. So we have to make sure that the front valance of the Rambler fits perfectly so that way the battery doesn't hit it or anything. And we have plenty of room for our radiator bracket and everything else that we have under there. And also making sure that the fenders and everything still line up to where they originally supposed to be. As you can see now, the front balance actually is bolted on pretty good, and uh, there's actually a support on the front balance right where our battery is supposed to go, so it really wouldn't be that big of a deal to put the battery there anyway, it kind of blocks it, and it doesn't really affect the airflow very much because there's already a piece there and there's going to be a big bumper in front of it also. It's always hard at the end of the build when you take stuff apart months ago and then trying to find all the bolts to put it all back together. But luckily we had everything labeled and so we're just putting everything back together where it's supposed to be. Um, but this is kind of the last big step for the Rambler assembly process before we get this thing running and driving again. So we're just putting everything up together and then trying to get all these rusty bolts of it back to where they're supposed to go. So now we're kind of back to the beginning where we're putting the grill back on and the headlights back in. On the very first episode, we took this entire thing apart. All the bolts are really stuck and rusted. So now we're putting new hardware back in to get that everything situated. But the grill is very thin, so we were very careful to store it in a place where it wouldn't get damaged. But now we're putting everything back together and it's starting to look like a Rambler again. Also simultaneously we're wiring up the rest of the Rambler and getting all the power run to our battery relocation to the front. Um, so we're running some pretty big wires from the firewall into the front of the car so that way we can get everything powered up and ran so it's officially wired up. Now eventually we want to change the entire wiring harness on this car into a full interior harness and do a full interior on the entire Rambler but for right now we have it kind of hooked up just basics so that way we can get it on the road test drive it and see what we need to change in the future don't forget guys make sure you like comment and subscribe we have a bunch more builds kind of like this rambler that we're going to be doing in the future so if you guys want to see builds like this, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you guys will be updated to see what we're going to be building next, and then what's the next plans for the Rambler, and what we're going to be doing with it. So once we finish wiring it up, we just have to install the front bumper and get everything working, and that's pretty much it. So this is how we built our 61 Rambler station wagon um, and it's the entire process of everything that we've done so far. So you guys will see what we're going to do with this thing next. This has been a long process of going through old footage and making these videos for you guys. 
So you guys are not going to want to miss what you see next video where we go through the entire thing of an updated video of the Rambler. So finally, after all this work and all this time, the Rambler is finally running, driving under its own power, and it looks like a 61 Rambler station wagon. But it has the C4 Corvette front suspension, completely custom frame, LS power, and all the luxury components of a Lincoln Aviator on the inside. So you guys saw the entire thing here, and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.